Hello, my name is Jaakko Juntonen. I'm the head of EM applications in AWR Europe. I will demonstrate you today a near field coupler antenna system simulation in Axiom. Here we have a EM document in which we have both the transmitting and receiver antennas of a near field coupler antenna system. So in this context these are usually called as polar and listener. We may pay attention to the fact that I have also included not only the antennas but also the PCBs that contain a number of discrete elements. So the idea is that we feed in RF power in this port. It gets transmitted to the listener antenna system and then there is a diode bridge which then converts the RF power into DC voltage that can be monitored at this port down here. So an interesting and worthwhile point in this simulation is that it is inf indeed a nonlinear simulation and if we look the the circuit schematic so I have created an, an, a symbol of this big, big EM document. I have separated them in a vertical direction a little bit to make the, the picture more clear. But we can place any discrete elements like capacitors and resistors, but also nonlinear elements like these diodes down here. And so we combine a huge EM simulation with a nonlinear circuit simulation in this example. The EM documents have been pre-calculated, so I now run only the nonlinear simulation part. I perform a, a couple of tasks. I have uh, defined 10 different EM documents, each representing different separations in Z dimension between the transmitting and receiving antennas. And I'm performing a power sweep. It is very instructive and interesting to see how the observed or the monitored uh, DC voltage is dependent upon the, the transmitting power. And I have defined also graphs for the matching and the spectrum alike. So if we look first, the listener DC voltage at the 20 dBm level, which is the nominal transmitting power. So we can see in, from this picture clearly that as we move the, the transmitter and receiver closer to each other, the listener DC voltage level uh, increases. And when the distance is 10 millimeters, then we can observe about 4.7 volts, which uh, agrees very well with the observations in the lab. If we look at the DC voltage versus power, then more or less as expected, the received voltage uh, increases as a function of the, the input power. If we look at the matching, here we have a very interesting observation. When the transmitter and receiver are far apart, then the matching is very good close to the Smith chart center. But as we move the, the antennas closer to each other, then it in fact affects the matching quite dramatically. And when we are 10 millimeters apart, the matching has uh, distorted pretty dramatically. This is one design observation which may not be so obvious, but which this uh, simulation easily reveals. Last but not least, we have a, a graph defined for the RF spectrum at the, the listener side. So we can recognize, so we have here in this picture, I have in, in blue the situation where the, the antennas are 10 millimeters apart and another situation in which they are 50 millimeters apart, shown in green. The major component is obviously the DC. It is designed in a way that the diode bridge converts the RF power into DC. 
but we can immediately also monitor the RF leakage to the uh, DC port. And we can see that the isolation is actually pretty good. So when the antennas are close to each other, it's about 67 dB difference for the fundamental component. And if they are moved a little bit further off, then the, the leakage is a little bit larger, about minus 61 dB, but still that level of isolation is to be considered as very good. So putting together in this example, we have demonstrated that with AWR, we can combine pretty complex EM simulations involving a, a complete antenna system, including the PCBs that house the discrete elements that perform various tasks, like in this case, the, the, the diode bridge, which converts the RF power into DC. The results that we observe are very well in line with the measurements that we have in the lab. And we can easily uh, include and simulate situations that are maybe difficult to arrange in the lab. And this way, AWR can be used as a very efficient design tool for the near field coupler applications. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.